You mean like verbalizing yeah. sounds? Yeah. Yeah, presumably like if you're silent. Yeah, it won't work. Um, yeah, so, so speaking, okay. Maybe, maybe, I'm uh, sorry, maybe facetious, but uh, presumably it's a little bit more concrete than speaking, right? Listening. Hmm? You need to listen, you need to think logically. What else? Like I said, list can be very, very big. I, I got up to like 18 things with, with a group once. Knowledge. You just need, need to know stuff. Cool. What else? Reactions. Listen. Sorry? Reactions. You need to react to other teams. What else? Be active. Hmm? Be active. Be active? What do you mean by that? Presumably, like, I mean, I, I, I don't know if you've seen the, the body conception of the average debater, but it had to be more like me and less like Michael Jordan. Um, so what, what do you mean by be active? Probably engagement. Be engagement, a bit, a little bit sort of responsive. Yeah? Okay, we already got that one. Other things? Movement. movement, yeah, you need to, your non-verbal communication needs to be okay. Yeah, so you need to be in control of your body. Uh, what I see very often uh, younger people do is... Um, Can't contain yourself. Uh, yeah, I uh, saw a figure here, I thought, still. Sorry, figure is, is a way to say Dutch uh, hand. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Other things? Organization of arguments. Sorry? Organization of arguments. Organization of arguments, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, being able to come up with cases, I think, is a very good thing. Being able to come up with cases. Yeah, voice be your the yeah, the ability to effectively use your voice to affect what you're saying, mm -hmm. yeah. Charisma. Charisma, potentially. Although, have you seen the average debater? Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen, we have three or four questions <laughs> for the side of property today. First thing we're going to tell you why there's a problem in this debate. Second, we're going to tell you why it's affected. Blah, 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 blah. These, these, these people get 86s. Um, <laughs> but there probably needs to be a little bit. I imagine charisma is the combination of many of these elements, um, rather than a skill to be trained in the first place. Um, I don't know about you, but I can't project more charisma. Um, I mean, I try when I want to pick up people, but um, I, I, t I tend not to, you know, particularly excel at that. So I'm not entirely certain where the debating came from me in that regard. Okay? Good. List of things. Make, make that list of things yourself as well when, when you're thinking about how to improve. Because I think, importantly, how to improve is also a... Um, a thing you do by thinking critically about yourself. So don't just like passively take this in, apply it as well. Similarly, right to this, right? So reflective observation or observation in general is something that most people tend to do um, because most people tend to enjoy having lectures um, if they're doing debating because uh, most of you tend to be academically apt. You, in other words, you're good at learning. You're good at like memorizing lots of facts. Reading large amount of books very quickly. Hello, come on, sorry. Just and that means as well that there's a tendency to not to not do the other part, not do the experimentation, not do the active thinking yourself. Just like learn what you need to learn, that's good. Debating is a as you've noticed probably during the lectures you've received, debating has very little theoretical content. Lots of it is like advice or meaningful advice and we need you to get better to, to do it. That's why we make you do lots of debates. Similarly you want to help yourself experience because the debating is such a complex game. It's just all these six things we talked about, all of them intersect in different ways. All of them have different ways to get good at them. For instance, what does a good speaking voice mean? I mean, I, 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 I'm lucky. I'm a man. I have the, 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 the stereotypically low voice uh, that tends to help for certain elements of good style. They think if you don't have that certain type of voice, and therefore don't, you might want to work on different ways of emoting. Um, I'm also lucky in that my lang my, my, my home language, language, my native language, has similar pronunciation rules as English has. So I don't need to do much work uh, uh, to overcome the, the systemic barriers um, that plague uh, uh, the world, uh, essentially, I think. Because the world tends to be like pro-English, pro-men, nonsensically, well, um, other people need to do other types of work on that. Not without like losing yourself. I don't want women here to lower their voice. I don't want Chinese national speakers here to try and sound like a queen. Um, but you want to think about what you need to change. I think therefore you need to start prepping and actively doing that. 
from those ideas and what you need to do well, so what you need to do now is the second question, how do you need to, how do you do them well? So you first identify what do you do well, then you identify how is it that you make them do well. And after that, you ask yourself, where am I on this path? Where am I? What can I do well? What can I not do well? Importantly, don't just say you're shit at everything. Because A, unlikely to be true. You're probably good at something. B, doesn't help an improvement, because then you get a feeling that you must be yourself always that you can never progress on the path. You are going to progress on the path. Find out what you're doing well. So, that's the first exercise. We're going to find out where you currently are. We now have the bits of feedback information. You can think of the information you have. So if you are in the habit of collecting your judge feedback in a one place, so you can keep it all together, you can read it through, you can find out what the common themes are, which I would suggest you do, it's very useful. If you know maybe like an average speaker's court, less tournament, but at the top of your heart, you're like a numbers geek, that's great, you have the information so you know where you are there. But start thinking, and I think, start thinking about the idea of coming up with arguments, that's the exercise. Uh, on, the, on the subject of coming up with arguments, a skill you need to have, how do you get better, how, 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 how do you do that, how do you get better, and where do you think you currently are? Try and think about that for up to five minutes, and then I want to hear where you think you are. Are there questions? No? Then good luck. Two minutes or do we need more time? Thank you. 
speak for a moment. Are you ready? Who wants to speak? Who wants to say what they come up with? You're each other. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I think so far I'm able to do a, do some rebuttals to some extent. Mm -hmm. um, I can also set a case with on some points which are valid to the debate, mm -hmm. and I can speak for seven minutes as opposed to around five in the past. Mm -hmm. So in terms of improving, I think it will be better if I have a stronger structure. Mm -hmm. um, maybe perhaps when I'm talking about clashes, and also. I think it'll also be helpful if I form more analogies in my Perfect. That's really good. Yeah, really, really, really good. So what I really like is that you've already showed your improvement. Uh, so you've already showed what you have gotten better at and what you can do very well. I think that's very helpful. You're already on your path. It's very good that you identified some clear things that you want to improve on. Very good. We'll talk about how to improve on them later because that is, that's a second step, of course. Anyone else wants to share what they got with? Yeah? Uh, I think that I've improved in terms of rebutting, uh, re rebuttals, and um, I, I think I've improved in content. However, mm -hmm. I think that I'm still lacking the matureness to um, um, complete a, a, a fine logical sequence in mm -hmm. my, in my um, um, points and arguments, and mm -hmm. so I think that I can improve in that. Yeah. yeah? Okay, excellent. Again, same, same for us, very good, very good. Anyone else want to share the learning goal? Yeah? I think I've improved that logical thinking and mm -hmm. I can bear the points immediately in the mm -hmm. uh, how However, like, delivering the sentence clearly and logically is a problem for me. Mm -hmm. And somehow I don't know how to present, and there's always a dead air between mm -hmm. the points towards it. Okay, cool, yeah. What I've noticed out of the three of you is that you've uh, mentioned mostly what you've improved on, but you don't mention the sources yet. So is that something you've gotten out of like the email of judge feedback you received or, or how, how have you come to this conclusion? Judge feedback. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I haven't really got uh, a mm -hmm. I don't agree just feedback. Yeah, just feedback from your, your coach at the club. Coach. Yeah. Um, or or where, where did you get the information from that you've gotten better at these things? Just for yourself. Uh, well, the so I found that I can do the theories quite well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And else, where did we, where, where did you uh, uh, so you just wrote down what you think you really can, where you think you need to improve? Um, where did you base that information on? on? On your own thoughts about what you can do, on what judges tell you, on, on what? Conscious reactions, for example, will. When I try to make an argument in class, um, uh, mm -hmm. my teacher will often uh, ask me to explain more about mm -hmm. why and how, and how does your point prove your results. And yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah. Uh, I just want to refer to the last question you asked. Go ahead. Uh, I think my strengths are I'm able to express some some points logically, but sometimes and I. The majority of the time, I can anticipate my opponent's arguments. However, I'm not so good at speech, uh, the structure of making mm -hmm. speeches, and how to identify c common arguments, mm -hmm. and how to address my opponents effectively. Mm -hmm. mm, I found I found these out just recently after joining this. Okay. Workshop. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Good. The second question is then, how can you improve? That's a new question we're going to talk about. How can you improve? Um, does anyone here know what deductive reasoning and inductive reasoning is? Deductive and inductive. No one? Deductive reasoning means finding out the re reasons from um, getting the results. Um, I think that it's vice versa for inductive reasoning. Yeah. Um, so, so the easiest way to explain this is um, you have deductive, you deduct based on, from like a large set of observations, you come to a theory. Sorry, the other way around, it's, it's, that's, that's, that's inductive. Deductive is um, you take one example and you build a large amount of reasons from. So um, what we want to do is find out what then good structure is, for instance. So the, 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 that approach would be to find out what good structure is. 
and then use that structure on all your speeches. And finding all good structures can either be done through theoretically analyzing it, so building a theory, or through lots of experimentation. Find out like lots of different ways to do structure, and find out if you get like, a good feedback on someone if it exists. Um, the upsides and downsides of using structure is a very good, 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 easy thing to learn, I think is a uh, fact uh, observation of the words like trying to come first up with the theory to do abstract conceptualization is harder to do if you don't exactly know how to do it because it requires you to actually know how to do it. Um, whereas like active experimentation is like easier to do, it takes a larger amount of time because you need to act, like do lots of exercises. Let's take with structure. What are good structure? What is good structure? Can someone because we I, I've been I've been hearing I need structure a lot from, from many of you um, throughout the past four days. I've never heard someone say what good structure is. So what, what examples of good structure? Can we try and come to a definition of all of us? So this, you say it's planning out your speech. In other words, an, 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 a good speech always has your introduction, and the introduction does two things. One, a good like story or a good frame or something nice and persuasive to end the speech with, uh, telling the audience what you're going to talk about, so the headlines of your arguments. Then there is rebuttal. If you need to do rebuttal, you, you probably don't need to do it for prime minister. 